Greetings, welcome to the first of what will be a ridiculously large number of Max tutorials. Um, when you first launch Max, well, if you don't have it already, you can go to cycling74.com and download a 30 day demo. <clears throat> when you first launch it, you should have this in front of you, which is a patcher window. This is where you'll do all your work, you'll make your patches and your patcher. Um, and if you don't have one of those in front of you, maybe you have this Max window thing. Uh, you'll want to make a new patcher, which you do with Command N on a Mac or Control N on a PC. Um, Control N for new, obviously. Um, if we double click to make a new object, as it says, we bring up this thing called a palette. Um, this palette contains a bunch of stuff that we don't use very much um, and some stuff that we do use a fair bit. Uh, if we click this thing that says Object, it will create a new object um, that we can, well, we have to give it a name or it won't be an object. Let's try typing the word message in here. It tries to complete our message word. We can hit enter or return on the keyboard for it to make this new object. And it has made a message object. We go, um, sorry, that's not what I meant to do. If we go double click in the blank space on the patcher window again, um, and click a message in the in the in the palette there. Um, we'll see that we now have these two things which are identical. Uh, we have two message objects. Um, this is just to show you that everything is an object in Max. Uh, we don't need those right now. Let's just um, drag across them and hit the delete key on the keyboard to get rid of them. Comes back to asking us to double click to make a new object and. Let's do it. Let's uh, double click again and bring up the palette. Let's make an object. So we select the object. We're going to make something called a cycle tilde. Um, when we start typing the word cycle, we might notice that there are two um, options for a cycle. One without the little squiggle at the end and one with the little squiggle. That little squiggle is called a tilde and the tilde is used for um, to name all objects that have something to do with audio. So we want that one. So if we've got that selected, we can use the up and down arrow on the keyboard or we can just select it with the mouse. Uh, we can hit return or enter on the keyboard and it will create that cycle tilde for us. Um, the first thing we could do is to bring up a help patch on this cycle tilde, which if we Hold the um, Option key on a Mac or Alt key on a PC uh, while we click on the Cycle Tilde. Holding that down and clicking, it brings up this thing called Cycle Tilde Max Help with a bunch of words and stuff. Probably more than we could possibly want to know today. Uh, the thing I'm interested in is right here where it says Argument Sets Frequency. Okay, so what's an argument? An, an argument is any um, word or number that comes after the name of an object, in this case 440, that uh, sets a kind of default state for the object. In this case, when we get, we'll close that um, help patch, if we go back here and type after a space, so we'll select the object until we go blue, and then we'll get the blinking cursor, and after hitting space, because we don't want the, just to be one word, the, we'll type again, just like it did in the help patch there, the word 440, the number 440. And now this oscillator, it's a, this is a sine tone oscillator we've created, will have a frequency of 440 hertz. Uh, the next object we're going to want to make, we'll see actually before we move on that uh, the, the, every object has a certain number of inlets and or outlets um, depending on what the object does and outlets are always at the bottom, inlets are always at the top and we want to make another object so we'll double click in the blank space here create an object by clicking on object and we're going to create something called multiply tilde which if you click the asterisk key on your keyboard, which is what we use for multiplication in Max, um, that's uh, Shift 8 in case you can't find your asterisk, never typed one before, um, you'll see that you have an option now again of one uh, multiply without the tilde, one with, 
We want the multiply with tilde, so we can again up down arrow or select with the mouse the one we want. And we can create that again by just hitting enter or return or clicking in the blank <coughs> in the blank area of the patcher window will also create it. Okay, so if we connect we, what we want to do um, is to connect the outlet of this cycle tilde um, to the inlet, the left inlet of the multiplied tilde. So let's uh, just mouse until you see a red circle around the outlet of the cycle tilde. And when you see that red circle, you can click with the mouse, <coughs> then drag, and you're creating something called a patch cord here to connect the objects. And if you drag down until you see a, a red circle around the left inlet of that multiply tilde, and release the mouse, and you should have a patch cord. Uh, we also want to have an argument in this multiply tilde. Um, this is going to scale the amplitude of this oscillator this multiply tilde, um, and we want to multiply that by something less than one because this will be pretty loud if we just leave it uh, going straight out. So let's make this 0 0.3. So we, you know, get your blinking cursor inside your multiple tilde, um, uh, multiply tilde, and then just uh, type in the number 0 0.3. Um, all numbers in Max have uh, are either floating point or integers, and it makes a difference. Um, that's an integer without the point. That's a floating point number with the floating uh, with a point on it. Um, to hear this now, we're going to want to play this through our sound card. So double click again in the blank space, bring up something called an Easy DAC, which is on the second um, row of objects in the palette. So we click this thing called Easy DAC, and lo and behold, there's an there's a, um, object for, for listening to the sound. Uh, we want to connect the outlet of our multiply uh, object here to the left inlet of this Easy DAC. So we create that patch cord, release to create it. And we can click on this thing, but we're not doing anything at all. We're not hearing anything yet. We want to, to be able to click on this, we want the patcher window to be locked. You can see that it's unlocked because it says, um, it says uh, sh shows that in this icon here. Also the background having these tiny little grey dots is a giveaway that the patcher is unlocked. To lock the patcher you can use this um, little icon down here. Or another way um, is to use Command E or Control E if you're on a PC. Um, my favorite way is to hold down the Command Macintosh or Control PC key and click anywhere in the patcher window. That's the fast way. So if your patcher is locked, those gray dots have disappeared. And now when you click on this Easy DAC, you should hear something uh, like a sign tone. That's coming out your left speaker or headphone. If you wanted to come out the right as well, you'd need to unlock the patcher, i.e. hit the um, hold control, uh, or I mean on PC or command on a Mac, hold that down while clicking in the blank space, mouse over the outlet there until you see a red circle, um, drag until you see a red circle, release, and now when we lock the patcher, hit control or command, or clicking there, and now we should be hearing it out both speakers. Um, we can now send Morse code to your friends. Um, and that's pretty much all we can do with this, but uh, if you tune in on the next tutorial, there'll be something far more exciting, I promise.